Hello, it's I and I came over in round six of the Artifact Tournament, the Pauper for Artifact Tournament, done by Back to Base Podcast. Yeah, hey! Up against Eldion, who I've been talking to in stream chat a bit whilst waiting, and oh, that's a lot of blue at the start. Well, hmm, okay, I can still track the Ogre Magi. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good start for me. Uh, let's, let's just hit this. Boom! Alright, cool. Gonna get a nice track off here, gonna have a really good start. He's got a Venomancer, I don't know where he's gonna play it, probably with the... Mm. Not, a, not a good. He's not gonna have a really good place to put the. Um, the hunt is out. He's not gonna have a good place to put the. Uh, to put the. The venomancer that's gonna be coming in next. What's he got? He's got a bunch of small things. Dimensional portals. Um. The drew. Yeah. Okay. Pretty standard blue. Blue green here. Yeah. He does not have a good place to put his venomancer. Um. Yeah. I'll take a red miss mole at the start of the game, and a travel scope. And short sword. Um, okay, so the question is, do I want to put the Venomancer in lane 1? Now, it sounds dumb, but I do have the ability to actually start going against that one. He can't play Venomancer here. Uh, I could play Venom here, actually. Um, probably better to play Venom here, but I want to fight round 1, uh, lane 1 instead of lane 2. Probably better to play Venom here. I'm gonna play Venom here because he does not have a really good. It's not nice for him to play Venom here, but he's going to. Okay. Because the alternative was Venom Wars. Did not want to do that. All right. So I've kind of somewhat abandoned this lane. Um, this is gonna go fine for me. So I put Nevermore. Um, not gonna be that helpful considering that the Venom answers there. Didn't draw what I wanted for the. Uh, I share the wisdom of my people. Yeah, I'm just gonna lose this lane. Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with abandoning this lane completely. Uh, lane two is probably gonna be where most of the fighting takes place. Um, he doesn't have an item yet, so I'm gonna travel his cloak uh, bounty here because he's probably he's not got a short sword. Two damage to each enemy. That's that's fine. That's fine, because now I can Disciple of Nevermore, uh, whereas before, I couldn't. Because before, um, let's see if I path into Venno here. I offer a taste of what the court of but before, a Tower Barrage would have killed me. Now a Tower Barrage does not kill me. Haha! -ha! You see the trick? And uh, yeah, I'll short sort as well. Just go for 19, for a casual 19 damage against this tower. As you do. Um... Now, I want to have initiative going into the second lane here so that I can tower barrage. Uh, so let's let's throw some venom here. Let's get the red mist mole going. Um, 13 damage swing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, let's hope you play something in lane 1 so I don't have to. Because I really need a tower barrage to go down onto the um, tower barrage to go down here. Uh, otherwise, I end up in a really awkward situation where he can tower barrage me and I can't tower barrage him. Uh, with the, um, with the Disciple of Nevermore, before I tower barrage him, I should say, with the Disciple of Nevermore to increase the damage. It is, uh, risky going for one of these, but he only has one left, so we might not have it. We'll see, though, because the Venom Ward, the Venom Answer Ward actually spawned in a really awkward place for me. Um, it genuinely might kill the Disciple of Nevermore. That would be a problem. But I can also Concussive Shot here and then a Tower Barrage. Or I could just, you know, Dimensional Portal. Go for more damage. I mean, Dimensional Portal might just lock this, might just win this lane for me. Cannot stop us. Okay, with the Verdant Refuge, I'm definitely going to have to uh, Concussive first. That's unfortunate. Yes, you've won this lane, congratulations. Oh, it did kill the Disciple no more. Alright. So Dimensional Portal is maybe not the best choice here. So instead I will Concussive Shot. Yeah, and then I will be able to Tower Barrage and kill both of these, and kill this and the creep, and that is 16 damage going to be uh, sneaking through. I need to stay on the field as long as possible. Okay, uh, never mind, it's uh, 
Not going to be that. Uh, the Enchantress's uh, healing is uh, proving awkward there for me. Uh, again, I could just play Dimension Portal to summon three creeps. But I really want this 13 damage to go through, you know? So I'm going to Tower Barrage. I'm still set up next round for another Tower Barrage, after all. Oh, it doesn't kill. Oh, it doesn't kill. That was a really big mistake. That was a really big mistake on my part. That didn't kill. Oh god, that was really dumb of me. That didn't kill. Just what I needed. Oh, okay, that lost me the game, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. That's fine. 17 damage is going to come out here. I might be fine. If he dimension portals, I'll have to dimensional portal. Tower barrages. Uh, that could be a very deadly to me. Intimidating. Moves my Phantom Assassin to that lane. Okay. That's interesting, because now I can um, damage the pull this lane instead. And these creeps should hopefully win me the game. This game, this lane, should I say. Venom's dying, but that's fine. He's only got 10 health left. Uh, Debbie's going to come into this lane. And yet so supple. I'm going to have Coup de Gras up. So many doesn't have a tower barrage for that thing. Is there going to be something I want to coup? Want to coup? Uh, he can like intimidate me again. He can play on the rebellion and stuff. Another disciple and never more. And a no accident. Okay. The no accident is there something I can do here? Not really. No. Nothing I can do with the tower barrage either. But with the disciple and never more, I can do a little bit of pressure. If I coup Enchantress, um, I'm going to be swinging in for an extra six. He's going to intimidate his Lycan, and his Lycan gets into that lane. Oh, very, very good play by him. Uh, that is a big problem for me, actually. Hmm. Do I coup the Lycan? Uh, I think I have to coup the Lycan here. At least when Enchantress dies at the end of- if Enchantress dies at the end of this turn, I'll be fine-ish. Is there anything he wants he's wanting to play on remaining. 6? No. So, he would pass because he's waiting to uh, block the Bounty Hunter again, I would assume. Uh, but yeah, let's coup him. You've suffered enough. I lost the track, that is perfectly fine by me. You were a worthy opponent, and now the Enchantress doesn't have the 2 so extra attack to kill the Phantom. Of mercy. And the Rosalie Druid doesn't kill Please, me. Let me help you. So he's going to have no green heroes going into this lane next round. Which hopefully means I can go wide enough to kill him. Meanwhile, this lane isn't actually doing so hot, but considering the Trant's going to die, he's still not able to really protect it. Yeah, I'm going to actually do 10, unless he stops this, so... So Venom stops some of that. Multicast, okay, that's worrying. So now he has a uh, So Venom for this lane to block. And he can do a... Um... Yeah, he can still do a... Uh... Something. Uh, what's it called? Ooh, what are these artifacts going in here? Haha, <laughs> artifact. Uh, do, do I need to draw a card here? I think I do. I think I need to have a card draw over a plus two attack here. Um, I'll play Venno into this lane. Especially with another creep coming in here. I need to be able to potentially do that extra two damage. 
with seven mana, he hasn't got anything fantastic coming out. His next thing, Thunderhide, is at eight mana. But he is going to be able to block up this lane a bit more. Um, these guys still haven't killed this lane yet, but they will do soon. Oh, Dimensional Portal. That's going to be huge. Don't want to lose initiative here. Oh, I lose the Phantom Assassin. That sucks. Okay, so I can hit fire uh, when, and then he sows Venom, which uh, sounds like a terrible idea. Um, I could hit fire into no accident, which is seven. That's five. That might be good enough, actually. He's going to get three green coming in next turn, though. Seconds or I can no accident slay here. Yeah, let's let's let him let's let him <gasps> sow. This inevitability. Let's let him sow venom, actually. Come, mm -hmm. And now I can tower barrage to clear out both of these creeps. Uh let's uh potion of knowledge first because I can. Just in case I get a better, better thing, something. Another so venom. Okay. Yeah, I can tower barrage and then like dimension portal, whilst not giving him much options to um, block with. I can ventriloquy to taunt, and that'll be fine. Don't worry. Plays ignite here. Me. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to clear through that then, but with the dimensional portal, I might be able to. Um, yeah, so I tower barrage here. And then I'm throwing him 15 me. damage. Then I uh, can I was getting worried. hit fire here, which gives me the initiative for this. Uh, and does the initiative give me anything? Thing is, I do have siege here, which is very nice. Uh, he doesn't have anything that could just straight up kill me out right there. Uh, so yeah. Should be able to just uh, no accident this and then win from there. I don't want to really no accident my own Debbie to go for the kill there. Even though that is a possibility. There's a possibility of no accident my own Debbie so that in two turns she gets to go into that lane, but I should be locked up with Dimensional Portal. Should be good with Dimensional Portal, should I say? Um. No, he's gonna have three creeps that live. Um, so Dimensional Portal will only get blocked. Uh, I need the ogre to not kill Venno. And he doesn't have a way of killing Venno with blue. So we're good. Like, he has a Keenfolk musket and stuff, and then I still get to Stonehold Cloak. Ah, I still got this creep here. Ah. Oh! Venno took more damage than I thought because of the Venom Plague Ward. Great, so he can... Okay, Thanks. he didn't have it, thank god. If he had if he had a Tower Barrage there, um, that was basically game. And now I can Dimensional Portal. Whew, that was scary. Okay, and the Taunt doesn't help because I have Siege Damage. There's literally nothing he can do. Because Red Miss Mall is Siege! Yeah! Whew. Whew, whew, whew. Eldeon. GG, well played! Ah, ah yes! That was so close! at the end there. I was going to have, because otherwise I was going to have four heroes stuck in that lane. Uh, maybe I could have Disciple and never mauled it, but very unlikely I was just going to be stuck, not able to do anything in that bottom lane if he had to dump the tower barrage. Ooh. I was very close to screw myself over. Because um, yeah, I mean with triple, triple black I could maybe have raced it. Maybe I could have raced it, but it wouldn't have been easy.
And he could have just played a single green in there and then I would have been screwed. So there we go. Whew. Failed to send message. Please try again. What's happening with Steam right now? Do I need to restart Steam? I think I need to restart Steam. All right. Well, it's been me, GameSlay99, aka No Brainer. Thank you for watching. Signing out.